Welcome to the talk show. Now our first guest we have today is Tanya Moore. Come on Tanya, give me a wine, just give me a wine. Eh, hey, power shot, power shot. I don't know, but give us power shot. Eh, hey, dirty wine, <laughs> dirty wine, what? Dirty wine, Hey, All right, that's enough now. <laughs> Now you know I had I you know I had to set you up. Why? Yeah, because last time I came to your party show, your work party show, you said to me I was an extra. Now an extra to me is Winston for me standards. <laughs> Winston in the background. No, because extra means an extra person. No, I was in, in the, the video front. I was in the front dancing as an extra person. You set me up, in so I had, to, I had to set you up today. How are you today? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Good, thank you for coming down. It's all right. So I've got loads of questions to ask you today. Go for it. Okay, okay. <laughs> so the first question I've got for you is, obviously, um, you do comedy and you do presenting. How long have you been doing comedy for? Comedy, four years. It was four years really? in May, so yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, four years. It's been a, a crazy four-year journey, but I'm yeah. enjoying it. Good, good, I good. I really am. I've travelled. I've worked with some amazing people, and and now I'm sitting on the couch with you. So <laughs> I'm winning. That's good. That's good. You're winning. You're winning. <laughs> so obviously, I've been to the um, more laughter show, yep. um, which I took my mum to, and you hosted. So how did you come about that show? Um, it's more about um, me trying to build something that's going to outlast myself as a comedian, mm -hmm. and um, just trying to have basically a payday for when I'm no longer working. True. You know, um, building an empire, building a brand. So that's where I started. I started with more laughter. Okay. And there's more things to come, but more laughter. how long have you been doing more laughter for? It's a year now. Okay. Yeah. And I've seen you a lot of you on Instagram lately. Yes. You're just everywhere. Yes. Popping up, trying yes. to pay those bills. I don't want you to get through one 24 hours without seeing my name. <laughs> I see you all the time. I'm like, gosh, why Good. is she on the gram all the time? It's working. It's working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is working. It is working. Now, you were nominated last year for the UK Entertainment Award yeah. as Best Comedy Act. Yes. Um, you were against White Yardy, Ori Styler, Alex. Uh, you was the only lady. Axel. Axel. Axel, shame. <laughs> Alex, I apologise. <laughs> that, right. that was a joke. That was a joke. I got you there. Yeah. Um, so how did you how did you feel obviously being the only lady and how did it feel to be recognized? It was nice to be recognized. Mm -hmm. I mean, I knew I weren't gonna win. That wasn't the thing. The thing was is that it was nice to know that the hard work wasn't in vain. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's so easy for ladies to be looked over. So yeah, it was nice. It was nice yeah. to be And White Yardy bigged you up. He said if he yeah. didn't win, he would want you to win. I know, we've got a little secret thing. We're born on the same day, so oh. If he doesn't do it, I have to do it. Right. It just has to be a thing. And was you happy for him winning? Oh, completely. 100%. Did you want him to win, tell the truth? He was going to win. Like He's got the biggest fan base. Come he on. Has, he has. Like, everyone would have to be asleep to not ha have him win. Like, that, that is very true. He was very funny on the day as well. He so, was, he was. big up White Yardy. <laughs> now, I can see um, a lot of you comedians, you support one another. Yeah. I see it more than in the music industry. Mm -hmm. um, you guys have obviously shows and like you have a whole room of comedians. Yeah. Why do you think you guys support one another so much rather than, you know, the music artists? Because everywhere you go, you see everyone on the flyer. Yeah. What, what is it about comedians? It's, do you know what it is? I, I think there's more opportunities for us. So let's, mm -hmm. for example, if someone's going to hire a rapper, yeah. they're going to hire one or two. Yeah. But if you're hiring a comedian, you're going to hire a lot more. There's just more for us to do. Yeah. In addition to, um, if we don't support ourselves, we're just going to get bombarded by these promoters because promoters are the bane of comedy. Right. Um, and we hate them. <laughs> <laughs> you hate them. Yeah. If you're not a comedian who runs a show, I, I probably hate your show. Right. Okay. Because they don't understand the beauty and the essence of comedy mm -hmm. and what we're actually providing. They're just thinking about money. Yeah. So they, they'll book the worst room, right. a room that doesn't work for comedy. They'll, you know, pack in the, all the chairs. The audience will be un when the audience are uncomfortable, no one's going to have a good night. Yeah, true. The audience has to be happy. Yeah, that's the most important thing. And the room has to be set up so we can have the right energy to deliver what yeah. we have to deliver. Um, but yeah, promoters they just think about money, so they book like these big town halls <laughs> where the ceilings like clean in the sky and like that the church or something. Yeah, and there's yeah. Like, there's no intimacy. There's nothing. So whatever I'm trying to give you has to bounce off the ceiling before it even hits you, and then yeah. it's all lost in. in that's the air. good to know because I see it all the time. I see like you run show white yardy running a show yeah i'm like these guys support one another they're like family yeah so that's really 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 good now obviously um i oh gosh sorry oh paper's falling <laughs> it's all right it's okay it's not right but it's okay okay so um 
obviously I've seen that you've come up with loads of party stuff and you've come out with something on Instagram, how to not deal with a, with black people. Yes, yes. I see the the lady trying to sniff up your curry goat or curry chicken. Yes, it was now, rude. Now, <laughs> that, that's rude. That is rude. That's how they behave. Ha that's how they behave. How do you come up with this idea? Um, I, I just, I, it's, it's, it's literally, okay, so if most people don't know, when I went to school, college and uni, I was the only black girl in my class. Oh, so wow. So it's just easy for me to go back to yeah. what would have happened. Right. You know, um, Food technology was always fun for me. You know, they always say to you, come in and you bring food from your background. Yeah. Well, everyone in the class is like bringing in like shepherd's pie and jack potatoes <laughs> and stuff, right? <laughs> I went in with ackee and saltfish because right. I'm Jamaican. Yep. They hated the saltfish. Okay. Loved the ackee. Yep. Completely didn't understand hardo bread. Right. <laughs> and so I had a lot of bread for lunch. Okay. Kind of what happened. But it was a, there was a lot... <laughs> There was a lot of sniffing of the food. There yep. was a touching it. What is oh this? Is it a vegetable? Like you don't just eat don't it. That's what we do. Yeah, you we don't just do eat them it. things, man. And I saw her touching your. Is your hair real? Yeah, yeah, that happened so a you, lot. So you as had well. that a lot. Did they you? Do that did you have lot. locks when you was in school? No, no, I okay. had my own hair actually. I was wearing natural right. hair, but yeah, they. Your they hair is natural. Just locks. Oh no, because I went through my weave stage. Oh, okay. Yeah, we went. We went through the dark side. Yeah. But um, I they they do that. They touch your hair before they even saying, Oh my God, your hair so. Why did we? How did we get here? <laughs> Don't it's touch me. It's different. Right. It's okay. Different. Well, no, they're, they're funny. I find those shows really funny. So, very creative. I know. <laughs> I know. I feel your pain, girl. Now, I see that you had an interview on um, BBC One Extra mm -hmm. with Dottie. Yes. Um, she's doing really well. She's, she's amazing. She's doing really well. How did she approach you, or how did you get to go on that show? It was actually another comedian who recommended me. Oh, wow. Yeah, Jamie Howard okay. recommended me to go on there. And, and have a good time because yeah. you know I like to chat rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. So yeah, it was it was it was a great hour. It was a yeah. great hour. I really enjoyed it. That's and um, they allowed me to promote my show. Oh really? Which, yeah, I know. I was like, Most oh, radio BBC. Shows yeah. yeah, BBC. I know. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was good. They they come into the dark side as well. So it's cool. That's good. Yeah. Uh, that's really good. Now um, I'm gonna play a few games. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I've got loads of questions to ask you. Oh gosh. Um, the game so yeah first question is so white yardy has yeah. called you to yeah. go on a tour with him yeah but bernie mac has risen from the dead okay okay and bernie mac wants you to also do a tour with him totally bernie the mac. same the time Bi totally bernie mac <laughs> Bernie you're gonna choose Bernie. You're gonna yeah, diss because you might die in like, like 24 hours, and Yardy's still gonna be here. I can do that show next week. So you're gonna choose Bernie totally Mac. Totally Bernie Mac. 100%. Okay. Don't know how white Yardy's Sorry, gonna feel Yardy. about that. But I love him. He knows that. It's all right. I'll buy okay. him a drink. It's so fine. Bernie Mac all the way. 100%. <laughs> okay. Right. The other question is: Do you remember that show, Snog, Marry, or Avoid? Oh Jesus, take the wheel. Okay. So, <laughs> would you <laughs> Snog, Marry, or Avoid Rick oh. Ross? Ah. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Avoid. Avo why? Oh wait, I don't know the other two. That's not fair. Who okay, no, no, no. You said avoid. Okay. Why? Because sometimes you like. If, if, if I'm assuming you are, you're saying he'd be my partner, right? Yes. Right, and I'm trying to survive out here. He would suffocate me, <laughs> and you know. <laughs> also, so at the complex of somebody else having bigger breasts than me True. in our relationship. Yeah. Would be an issue. No so no. yeah, so we'd you be avoid sharing him. bras and stuff. It's like it's just uncouth. It. I agree. <laughs> I agree with you. Now, snog, marry, or avoid mm, Anthony Joshua? Oh, avoid. What? Yeah, no, 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 no. Why? Oh, God, no. <gasps> no, sorry. I, I like my men, I like my men chocolate. He is chocolate. Yeah, no, not enough. Oh, yeah, you like them you, dark. You better be giving me, like, Denzel squared. Like, oh, I mean, but he's hench. That means, that means nothing. That not mean nothing. Yeah, not most of the time, them henchmen can't do nothing because they're so stiff. <laughs> they're, what, what, coming, coming to so me with your stiff stuff. avoid him. Them? Huh? I thought yeah, you're no. gonna put someone nice in there. She's gonna no, say Give me give me someone nice. <laughs> All right, well, well let's see what you say to these ones. Right. right. Snog, marry or avoid Mark Morrison. Return of oh. Mac. Yeah, oh. yeah. Okay. Um He's oh. dark. He's chocolate. I know, but like now I gotta be picky <laughs> with kind of brand of chocolate. <laughs> talking about. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Um, I might I might snog him on a night out. Really? Yeah, if he doesn't sing. I love that tune. It's a banger. No, no, yeah, no. Oh. Maybe a snog if he doesn't sing. Right. Okay. Yeah. You can turn off the Mac. Pass, you hear that, yeah. Mark Morrison? She's auntie. I'm on it. Return that <laughs> Mac, Mark. Return the Mac. Is that <laughs> now? Last one. Right. Snog, marry, or avoid. 
Craig David. Oh, avoid. Oh, God. <laughs> I knew you were going to say it. Now no. I know you like darkies. Oh, God. No? no? But even, even because no, because there's lighties that you can appreciate. Okay. There's people that are, you know, outside of my favorable realm. Right. That I can say, no, they're good looking. Do you yeah. know what I mean? You can yeah. appreciate yeah. that. Anthony Joshua, good looking guy. But For no. me, no, thank you. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, David Beckham, good looking guy. Mm-hmm. For me, no, Not thank you. you. Right. Um, <sighs> Craig David. Craig David. No. I mean, he's not handsome. First of all, he's got two faces. One here, one here. <laughs> That's two faces. <laughs> That's quite selfish, I think. <laughs> First of all, right. selfish guy. Aww. He's got two faces, so already we couldn't even be... He's a no-no. He's a Gemini. I'm not on it. So you chose out of everyone. You avoided everyone. Yeah. But you chose to snog Mark Morrison, return of the match. If I have an alcoholic beverage, yeah. Okay, right. Right, I've got, do you know what? I know we've had a few games and stuff, but I've actually got a few more questions just quickly to ask you. Um, So it is a a game kind of question. Now, I know your dad is very, very supportive of you. Why is your dad everywhere, blood? He's like Stan. He's everywhere. I saw you, that man, yeah. He's so supportive. (laughs) I see dad everywhere. Take a picture. Why are you doing that? Do you know what it is? is Some people have dance moms. I swear I've got like that dad. He's that guy. That guy. Yeah, like. He wanted to do it and he couldn't. So Aww. now, so he wants to uh, be a comedian. It's all for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, he wanted to be a comedian. No, he wanted to be yeah, because he's an entertainer as well. Really? Yeah. So that's where you get it from, Daddy. Yeah, we're both clowns. Ah. Yeah. So if you had to, right? The question is, if you had to, you had a ticket to a comedy UK tour. Yeah. Yeah. And your mum and dad wanted to go to this tour really badly, but yeah. you only had one ticket. Yeah. Who would you give it to, mum or your daddy? Oh. Now, I would invite my dad, but only because right. my mum's that person. She's like, no, I watch it on TV, man. I like staying in my house. <laughs> she wouldn't want right. to come to half of them anyway. Really? Yeah. She but like, did she your mum come to, to your more laughter show? Oh, she comes to all of those. Okay. Oh, yeah, she comes yeah. to all of those. That's, that's a one-off. And I see your brothers. Like, your family's very, oh, yeah, very supportive yeah, of you, we're aren't all there. they? We're all there. Yeah. Um, I think secretly everybody wishes they could do it. Yeah. And so it just makes it easier if I do it. That you do it. And then they just turn up on better, the day. you're better, probably. I don't know. I don't know about that, actually. <laughs> my brother's quite funny, actually. Which one? The one with the grumpy t-shirt? Yeah, on. yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's my funny. He's got, like, a funny sense of humour. Yeah, yeah, I mean, people like to laugh at his misery, so that's fine. Yeah. Um, but he's he's really funny, and my dad's actually really funny Is as well. he? Yeah, my dad's actually really funny. <laughs> <laughs> he's a nutcase. Actually. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Now, um, just one more question. Mm. I'll keep on saying one more. Keep on saying one more. <laughs> one more question. Do you watch the um, show Funny, Living With Funny? Have you watched that? I've watched the first two. I don't find it funny. I don't. I, th- I think it's actually a, 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 a rubbish show. Sorry. Mm, I do as well. Yeah. Would you go out of a comedian? No way. Why? Oh, my gosh. Why, why, why? Oh, my God. They, they annoy you. They're, so, they're, they're attention seekers. Oh. Not me, though, but like other But you're ones. a comedian, so you must be one, too. No, not at all, not at all. There <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know what? I just think two comedians in a room trying Too to much. be in love. Yeah, it's not, it's not going to work. And are you in love with presenting or comedy? If you had to choose one or the other, presenting, which one? Presenting. Yeah. Presenting I all the way. I prefer presenting and hosting because I feel like I can be me more. Right, um, okay. And not be confined to material so much. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, pref- I prefer that. I prefer just off-the-cuff stuff. Okay. Yeah. Now, before we go, we just want to know what is coming up for Tanya Moore. Okay. Let right, us know. We've got more laughter. Yeah. Um, we've got that. I'm going to do my first weekend. So in Birmingham, London, and Milton Keynes. Wow. Uh, yeah, first weekend in June, which is a lot of stress, yes. by the way. But I know it'll be worth it. Like on the sixth of June, I'll be like, that was fun. Yeah. But right now we're not in the sixth of June. Okay. Do you know what I mean? We're in May, <laughs> yep. and it's very stressful. But it's really exciting because I've got White Yardy on the lineup. Oh, that's um, good. Ori Styler. Yep. I've got an underdog called Liam Smith. I love an underdog. I okay. always will hire an underdog. Yeah. And I'm bringing Kareem Green over from Brooklyn. Wow, yeah, he works that's with like amazing. Russell Simmons. He's been on Live at the Apollo. He's won yeah. three times. You know, that's he's, really he's hilarious. He's working with with Wendy Williams. He works a lot. Oh wow! Yeah, he works so how did you get him? I went to America actually. Did you? Yeah, yeah, I had to make some connections. You know yeah, how we do. Go on, go I on. went out there and I was <laughs> speaking my best British accent. Yeah, oh. I know they like that, don't pip, they? Pip and all that behaviour. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Oh, that's yeah, really so, yeah, good. So yeah, I met I met out there. Yeah, made some connections. Um, I met I made connections from when I did the tour. In Holland, right, and there was an American host, yeah. and he was like, "Come to New York, yeah, I'll, I'll put you in some good places." And that's, that's what he did. That's really good. Yeah, See, so com- com- comedians they stick together, man. We, we do. need some more more of that we do. in the UK, most definitely. Yeah. Now, girl, it has been so good to interview you. Appreciate it's been you. a pleasure. My pleasure. And I'll be following you, like Stan, and I'll be coming to some of your shows, more shows, awesome. definitely. Everyone should come. Yes, love you, girl. Thank, Thank you. you.